Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And as you can see, I've got a guest today. This is Roscoe, our Yorkshire Terrier, little Yorkie. He decided to come hang out. He saw I was making a movie and said he wanted to be on YouTube today. So say hi to Roscoe. What's up everybody? Anyways, uh, today's one of my favorite type of videos to make for you guys. Um, and it's one of my top 10 or top list items. Uh, videos and I really love making them because a lot of you guys asked for these and this is one that in particular got a lot of messages and a lot of um, a lot of emails and comments on social media and it's about garage sale items and when I go out garage selling what are the items I see the most of and what are the items that no matter where I go what neighborhood what area that are almost a guarantee that you'll see that way you can pick them up and make a profit put them in your list of course we always talk about making lists and our phones and so I'm gonna give you some items to add to those lists these are specific to garage sales yard sales church sales things of that nature and uh, hopefully when they're in your phone they're in your list and you go out next weekend or this weekend whenever you go out next uh, you'll find at least one or a few of these items and they're really good profitable items good selling items as well um, so we're just basically working on building a, um, a list of items to keep an eye out for so that's what we're gonna get into let's jump onto my screen I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and you'll be able to see these items um, that I find a lot and that most of my viewers also contributed to this list, uh, telling me a lot of items that they find uh, pretty frequently. So let's do it right now. Okay, so I would be a bad person if I didn't start my yard sale 10 items, top 10 items off with my favorite, and that is video games. Um, you can see from the picture here, uh, a lot of flea markets, yard sales, swap meets will have tons of video games, game systems, accessories, uh, sometimes in the box, sometimes not in the box. Um, here's a great example of some old vintage games. It looks like there's some Sega, some Super Nintendo, some N64. Looks like there's a Donkey Kong, maybe um, Super Mario World. There's an N64 system. So this would be a yard sale, um, if you saw this, where you could definitely make some money. Um, sometimes they want full value and sometimes they just want a couple of bucks for things that are twenty thirty dollar items so make sure you do your research make sure you know what to look for make sure you got a little bit of an idea of some prices so you know what to at least grab and put it all in your hand and try to make a bundle deal on video games it's typically the easiest way um, don't forget power cables don't forget accessories don't forget things of that nature um, and if you can test them I would recommend it otherwise pay as is price don't buy systems um, that you can't test for full price because then you're just going to get screwed. Um, if they've got a TV or they're willing to let you plug it into an extension cord, um, you know, they won't always be willing to let you go in the house, but maybe they've got one in the garage, you know, a TV hung up that they watch out there, something like that that you can test, great. If you can't, then you need to pay accordingly. So just a good tip to keep in mind. All right, second item. It's going to be action figures and toys. Um, everyone knows about these. I have found endless buckets like bins where they just stick them in there they just dump toys and say 50 cents or a dollar a piece this bucket you can see the picture's not so good but there's some he-man masters of the universe uh, he-man um, toys like that can be worth 15 20 bucks a pop and if you're buying them at 50 cents and a dollar you can really stock up and really get some good money out of that so keep an eye out for all those older 80s action figures even some of the newer ones um, wrestling is good he-man is good gi joe is good star wars is good um, anything Marvel superhero just about um, just keep an eye out for those number three our favorite I don't even have to say this it's clothing um, every yard sale has it just about so it's always something to keep an eye out for look through every yard sales clothes racks look to see if they've got brands look to see if they're charging 50 cents or a quarter you can really rack up some profits and some good inventory I know clothes is slow um, and can you know take weeks to sell but if you're buying it for a quarter and 50 cents a piece you're going out to yard sales all weekend and you're ending up buying you know 50 pieces of clothes you're only out you know at the most maybe 20 bucks 30 bucks if you're paying 50 cents a piece <clears throat> and all of a sudden you've got 50 pieces of clothes that may end up selling even at ten dollars a piece is five hundred dollars so the profit margin is absolutely worth it on clothing I'll split this into two, the shoe department here, a nice little sign at their yard sale. Shoes is something you have to learn. You gotta really learn the brands. It's not my uh, favorite thing to buy. They are good, they do sell good. A lot of people like selling them. Learn a lot about shoes and shipping and weights. What different types of shoes weigh, what different types of uh, shoes cost to ship, and you'll do a lot better. Um, but shoes are a good market, and a lot of yard sales have them. So another thing to keep on your list. I separated that from clothing because there are just shoe only sellers. So I know you guys are out there. 
fishing equipment. Um, this would be number five, which is uh, fishing reels, lures, tackle, accessories. Uh, this looks like a yard sale where somebody knew what they had or maybe a professional seller, but I have been out to many yard sales and found lures and reels and a lot of, I bought boxes of lures before um, and put them in the little lots, you know, paid five bucks for the whole bin and put them in lots and sold them for 20, 25 bucks a lot and got four or five lots out of it. So always look for fishing equipment. A lot of those guys know what it's worth, so you have to be careful. Um, if it's something you're interested in, I would recommend doing a lot of research on it. Not something I buy a lot of, but if I see it and I know it's cheap, I will pick it up. Um, now this one's got some uh, video games in it, but the main thing I want you to focus on is vintage cameras. Uh, there are people on eBay that have literally 500 items listed, and they're all vintage cameras. It's all they buy. So <clears throat> things like Polaroids, this Kodomatic, the Instant cameras, they all sell really good. Um, the Instamatic cameras are like really, really uh, hot right now. The Polaroids are super hot. I see people in my group, in my Facebook group, uh, buying up Polaroids for like two bucks, three bucks at a yard sale, and selling them for like $49.99 the next day on eBay. So always keep an eye out for that type of stuff. Cameras are really, really good merchandise. They've got really good margins, and if you can get them for under five, under ten bucks for some of the good ones, you're talking about making thirty, forty, fifty dollar margins on some of these. Okay, we'll keep going. Uh, number seven, books, again, available at every yard sale. 99% of them are junk, but if you're an Amazon seller, book seller, even on eBay, <clears throat> and you can spot the good ones, they're going to cost you a quarter. They're going to cost you 50 cents, a buck at the most. Um, you guys might remember, and I always refer to this one, but it was a how to train blind dogs, which was like through the clickers and the noises. Um, that book ended up selling on eBay for like $20, and I bought it for like a buck. Um, number eight, military memorabilia, medals, um, <clears throat> pins, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. I know there's some exceptions that you're not allowed to sell. I think if there's a Purple Heart or a Silver Star, um, but for the most part, you can sell all of it. Um, I have bought from somebody uh, a pack of Vietnam War medals. I gave them like 2 or $3. It was like a Ziploc bag, and I ended up selling all those for like a total of like 80 bucks. I sold one for like 15 I sold one for 20 and then I lotted up the rest that were left and sold those for like 30. So that was a really good pickup for me that day. Uh, number nine, sporting equipment, especially baseball gloves. The older, the better. Make sure they're not falling apart. They're in good condition. Usually people will sell these to you for a buck, two bucks, three bucks. Catcher's mitts, first baseman's mitts. Those are things that sell for 25, 30, 35. Um, <clears throat> baseball bats, if it's a good brand, if it's a high-end bat, like the aluminum ones, some of these kids are spending 150 bucks brand new on a bat. They get out of baseball, it goes out to the yard sale for $5. You end up putting it on eBay. I know it's a pain to ship, but trust me, when you buy it for 5 and you sell it for $55, you'll find a way to ship it. <clears throat> you'll wrap it in a tube, you'll do whatever you have to do to ship, you know, like a baseball bat. Gloves are easy to ship. <clears throat> Usually they'll go in padded flats, excuse me. Um, lots of easy stuff you can pick up. Uh, sporting goods wise. Uh, even the softballs and the baseballs will sell if they're a good brand. And the last one for this uh, video is going to be the small kitchen appliances, uh, countertop appliances, uh, food processors, ninjas, uh, mixers, um, any of that kind of stuff. You can see here in this picture they had a food processor for 12. You know, you may have been able to negotiate that down to eight and that might be something that sells for 30 or 40 dollars. Don't forget, a lot of these will sell for parts. If they've got one that's broken or it's all dirty and messed up, it may be worth parts. So keep your phone handy. Look it up and figure out what the parts are worth on it. Um, figure out if it's worth parting out, if it's worth selling on its own. Keep the shipping in mind. But hand um, or tabletop, countertop appliances are really popular, really hot. They sell good, and I see them at so many yard sales. It's insane. Um, but they go quick. People know about these. So um, make sure you're up early. Make sure you get these and don't leave any behind. Those ninjas, those magic bullets, they all sell really good, especially if they're fully working. But even if they're not, you can flip out the blade and the blade will sell good. So those are your 10 items to look for this weekend at garage sales. And um, make sure you put this list in your phone, take pictures of it, keep the video handy, whatever you have to do, make a list in your notepad. But I'm sure you'll find at least five to seven of these while you're out this weekend. Um, hopefully the weather holds out for everybody, and I uh, appreciate you watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if it helped you. Uh, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Still got a few people telling me they got unsubscribed and they didn't do it, so YouTube is still booting people off channels, which is weird. But um, I appreciate it if you take a look at that and make sure you still are subscribed. And as always, down below, my social media, 
Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, if you want to follow us or join the Facebook group, which is awesome, 26, 27,000 members, I believe. Uh, lots of great people to help you 24 hours a day. And the rest of my description box is my links to eBay and Amazon if you need to buy anything. Please use those links as it does help my channel out, and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.